Now, tonight sees the climax of four years of hard work for a Dorset-based naturalist. Stuart McPherson from Hamworthy set himself the challenge of visiting all of Britain's overseas territories to document their wildlife and their people. And tonight on BBC4 at 9 o'clock, uh, a new series compiled from the footage that he shot on that journey starts broadcasting. Here's just a little taster of Stuart's work. The 14 UK overseas territories are scattered across all seven seas, from the Antarctic to the tropics. They couldn't be more varied in culture, history and wildlife. Lying almost on the equator, in the centre of the Atlantic Ocean, Ascension Island is a volcano that erupted from the sea around a million years ago. It's home to noisy colonies of tropical seabirds. Just a little taster of the series Britain's Treasure Islands, which starts on BBC Four tonight. Stuart joins me down the line now. Morning, Stuart. Good morning. How are you? Very well. Um, who'd have thought when you started out on this journey that um, yeah, your programme would be broadcasting at a time when some of these uh, overseas territories were embroiled in a tax scandal? Well, yes, very much so. I mean, I use treasure in the context of... Um, <laughs> So the series is called Britain's Treasure Islands, but in my context, treasure is the, the wildlife, the cultures, the history, this unbelievable heritage of our country scattered all across the globe in all seven seas. Uh, and um, what was it that made you want to, want to go to these places in the first instance? Well, I just couldn't believe how little known they are. Most Britons just don't even realise that their country has these, these extraordinary groups of islands all over the globe. So I just wanted to go and see them for myself and document their unbelievable wildlife and, and stories, really. And what, what I like about this as well is you, you've done this all off your own bat. You, you, um, you funded it yourself after, you know, lots of hard work. And you took, you took a crew with you. You travelled very light. And am I right in saying you kind of come back with this footage and effectively pitched it to the BBC and this is, this is the show which will broadcast tonight and over the next couple of weeks? Yeah, that's exactly right. I mean, I was lucky to partner with a production company called Warehouse 51 and... Through them, we've sold it to lots of different places internationally, to Nat Geo, to SBS, and very, very happily, it was a dream come true that um, BBC4 also wanted to show it. So it's a three-part series that's starting tonight. Amazing, amazing. Um, uh, I mean, so, so in terms of, of, of places, some of them will be familiar, some of these overseas territories, um, like, you know, the Aquateri on Cyprus, uh, I guess many people will, will know of. Some of them very far-flung, very remote. So Tristan de Kuna, the, the, is it the most remote inhabited place on Earth? Is that fair to say? Yeah, that's absolutely right. Tristan de Kuna is, is literally the most remote inhabited island on Earth. Um, if it were here, if it were where London is, mm -hmm. uh, the nearest settlement in any direction is over 2,800 kilometres away. That's past Moscow right. from London. So imagine trying to run a village of 270 people with your nearest supply point past Moscow away. It's absolutely incredible. And, and that caused you one or two problems uh, in terms of, of getting there. They don't have an island, so they don't have an airport that works on the island just yet. There's one coming. Um, do, do, do we focus on, on your travails at all tonight, or is it all about the, you know, the, the wildlife and the, the people once you arrive in these locations? Yeah, no, very much. Um, the Tristan episode is, is next week's one. Um, but tonight it's going to Bermuda, the British Indian Ocean Territory, and um, also the Pitcairn Islands. And for the British Indian Ocean Territory, there's no regular transport for civilians. Uh, we had to get a boat in the Maldives and sail down across the Indian Ocean. And um, for Pitcairn Islands, there's only one ship that goes there about four times a year, and that's the only way you can get to the island. Um, and, and so we, we go on this freight vessel into the heart of the Pacific, the biggest ocean in the world. So, yeah, the, the stories of getting to these islands, you know, they involve the last work, one of the last working Royal Mail ships, freight vessels, icebreakers, yeah. trawlers, RAF military flights. That's part of the adventure. Did you have um, to put your life on hold then? I mean, if there's, if there's four ships a year to somewhere like the Pitcairn Islands, you, you, can't make, you can't make plans. Presumably, if a place comes up on one of these boats, you just have to drop everything and go. Basically, yeah, that's that's right. Um, and you know, each rotation, each each visit of the ship, you have two weeks on the island, and if you miss it when it departs, you have a a three month stay until the next one. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, very much so. You yeah. have to be a bit flexible. Make sure you're on that boat. My sister would be rubbish. My sister misses transport left, right. Oh, so <laughs> she's one of those people who turns up at airports about twenty minutes before the plane takes off, thinking it'll be fine, and sometimes it just it just ain't. Um, 
Well, look, there's a website as well, BritishTreasureIslands.com. And one final thing about this, which I really like, is that you've, you've also written a book, and that's, yes. that's going to be sent to every single secondary school in the UK? Yep. Sorry, it's um, Britain's Treasure Islands. Sorry. Brit- no, that's okay. Um, BritainsTreasureIslands.com. And yeah, the book, Lord Ashcroft has very kindly funded the donation of one copy to every single secondary school across the entire UK and all of the overseas territories. They're going to they're arrive in June and we're going to ship them out then. And um, it's going to hopefully provide a resource for, for a new generation to understand this incredible heritage that remains under UK sovereignty. Britain's Treasure Islands.com is the website. A TV show starts tonight at 9 o'clock on BBC4. Stuart, lovely to talk to you. Lovely to speak to you as well. Thank you so much for having me.